As a freshman in high school, I had baby bottom hands, meaning they were very, very soft and delicate. And they were that way because I had never done hard labor. I had never done anything tough up until that point. But then I became a landscaper in the summertime, and that's when I started falling in love with weightlifting. Free weights, where you're using bars. So every day in the summer, I would go out as a landscaper. Now remember, this is the late 70s, so it's not like we had weed eaters and a lot of power tools. I was pushing a lawnmower, I was digging ditches with a shovel, and I would also take a shovel as my weed eater along curbs in industrial parks. So it was miles of curbs where you're bent over with a shovel and you're tearing weeds out using a shovel, not a weed eater. That's important to know because my poor hands went through some serious abuse because they were so soft and delicate and then within a year, they had calluses upon calluses. I had calluses on the tips of my fingers. I had three rows under, at least three rows under each one of my fingers and large calluses on the pads of my hand. That's because all of a sudden now I'm in hard labor. I had never done hard labor before, so my hands had never had to be toughened. They were marshmallow hands and then they become burlap bag hands. Now the, here's the point. The reason that's important is because I needed that. I needed to have my hands toughened up for, to survive hard labor, to be able to pull it off. Because when you first start and you're doing that, it's so painful for your hands because they're not tough. And it's really hard to go through the day. It's really hard to get the amount of work done that you have to do or carry the weight that you have to carry. Our hands are a lot like our minds. And here's what I mean. Your mind, our minds become marshmallows. And they become marshmallows because it's not tough anymore. So it's not tough because of technology, because of science, because of medicine. It's taken a lot of the edge off of life, and life has become comfortable, frankly. And it's easy compared to the way it used to be. We have to create some mental toughness or mental metal and so that we're not a mental marshmallow. we got to build calluses on our brain the same way we do our hands. And you do that by just don't quit. You have to push through. Feeling a little depressed today? push through. Force your mind to do what you want to do. Force your mind and bend it to your will. Take those thoughts captive. Those thoughts of, I can't do it. I'm not good enough. I'm all alone. I feel sorry for myself. I'm entitled to better things. Take those thoughts captive and force yourself to be the man or the woman you were created to be. Force yourself every single day by taking action, even when you don't feel like it, by pushing through the things that you don't like to do, pushing through the things that cause fear in your life, the mountains, the failures, getting back up each time. That builds a callus. Continuing to do what you're called to do and to do it with excellence every day, that builds calluses. That toughens you up. Listen, marshmallows are great to roast, and then they're great to eat, preferably with a little dark chocolate, or maybe a lot of dark chocolate, and graham cracker. Don't become a marshmallow. Don't become someone else's dessert. My name is Ed Carcary, and let's, together today, let's become a little mentally tough by forcing ourselves to do the things we don't like to do. I'd love to connect with you. You can find me at edcarcary.com, or look me up on LinkedIn. Find your passion. You'll find your life.